Hey everybody, it's Miss Hope coming to you with one more final art lesson for the school year. Yes, this is going to be our last lesson that we do because school's over next week, so we don't have any more uh, lessons to do. And uh, I hope that everybody is still doing really well at home, and I'm really proud of you guys. I know this has been a tough couple of months, but we did it, and uh, we all learned, and we all got through it, and we all adapted, right? So we should be proud of ourselves. We overcame many obstacles and uh, we figured some stuff out by ourselves and with help and we made it all work right so I'm, I'm super proud of you to those to those of you who have been sending me your work thank you I have to tell you that there were times where I felt like nobody was watching and so <laughs> is anybody doing art and it, I kind of started feeling like maybe I shouldn't make videos anymore but then I would get a picture I'd get a text or I get an email and I just maybe it would make me feel you know, just so good and proud um, to know that you guys are still out there and you're still and you're still working really hard and creativity is important to you. So, uh, please, throughout the summer, um, throughout your life, just keep creating. Okay, never stop. It's it's really good for your brain. It's really good for your soul and your emotions, and it helps with your coping skills. It helps with so many things, guys. So keep creating. Okay, today we're gonna just do some quick, uh, quick couple of lessons, and um, I'm gonna show you how to do to kind of optical illusion type things. I thought that would be really fun to end the to end the year. Um, just some easy optical illusion things that you can do with just a pencil and a piece of paper, all right? So we're gonna zoom down. I'm gonna show you how to do this. You might wanna grab, uh, you're gonna wanna grab something circular. So this is the top of a sour cream tub. Um, just grab something circular. It doesn't have to be the size. It could be a little smaller. It could be a little bit bigger. Just get a couple of sheets of paper and, and uh, here we go. All right, overhead camera. All right, so I already created that circle, so that's there on my paper right first we're going to do something called vanishing point okay so vanishing point what does that mean obviously a point is going to end up vanishing you're not going to see it but we're going to start with it so what you're going to do is you're going to make a little point on your paper not too big i just made it a little bit bigger so that you can see what i'm what i'm talking about and then you're going to make about one two three and you could put these circles it could be a little bit um different they could be some different sizes i would say make about five Okay, make about five circles. That one looks like it's collapsing a little bit. So five circles, that's good for now, just to start, okay? And those five circles go all the way around your little point in the middle, okay? And you're gonna see how they're gonna connect in a minute and, and do something really cool. And these circles, some of them could be a little bit smaller, some of them could be a little bit bigger. What we're gonna do is everything that you draw is gonna lead back to this point here, okay, in the middle. So watch what I do. I'm gonna start with the first circle. It doesn't really matter where you start on your paper. I'm gonna just start with this one. And I'm gonna make like an ice cream cone, okay? So it's just a triangle, but the point of the, of the triangle, which is what that's called the vertex, that goes back to that point in the middle. Same with this guy over here. Now you start your line about midway through the, in the circle, okay? You don't wanna start it up here. You wanna just go about midway in the circle. And then this guy here, I'm gonna bring him into the middle too. And this guy over here, he's gonna go to the middle and meet up with his friends. Whoops, I didn't make that as triangular as I needed to. And then this guy, and you can move your paper around. If you need to move your paper, move your paper. It's easier to move your paper than to move your, your body and your hands. All right, so you see, now we've got these really cool circles kind of jutting out. And I'm going to add a couple more because I just feel like these parts right here need, need a little bit more action. All my points, no matter how you do this, all you need to know are two shapes, circle and triangle, and all points go back to the middle. That is it, okay? And so now what you can do is, if you wanna make this really optically, I'm making these lines and I'm kinda of curving them a little bit to follow or to give you the impression that they're, okay, if you make them straight, it's not gonna have the same effect. You just practice with it, make, make, some, make some straight lines and see what I'm talking about. It's not gonna look the way, exactly the way that you want. You control the direction with your lines, okay? So your lines make your eye believe that something is moving in a, in a direction. Okay, see what I'm doing? 
yeah that's cool and then what you can do is when you're done you can color those lines or you can just leave them black and white or just no color you could just add a little bit of shading to the side to give it emphasis and again you're following your curve okay so like that can you see I'm sorry if it's hard to see yeah there we go okay I'm gonna auto adjust it for a second but you guys get the point right okay now with this guy down here this one's a little bit more tricky you're gonna need a ruler or a straight edge hang on I'm gonna grab mine real quick all right, again, kind of figure out where the center is of your circle. That looks good to me. Put a little dot there. You're gonna need that dot as a guideline, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make one line, cross over that line, two, and then you're gonna divide these two sections. So it's four lines total that you're drawing. You wanna kind of make sure that you get centered, okay? as best as you can. The better you do this, this is not, you don't need to be perfect, but you do need to be accurate, okay? Because the accuracy is, is what is going to make this optical illusion work. You want them all to be about the same slices, same size slices. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should have eight slices of pizza there. One, two, three, four lines intersecting, all right? Now, what you're going to do again, you're going to start with this middle dot. Every line is going to start from that middle. Okay, so watch carefully. Pay attention. Everything starts from the middle. Goes up, follows the curve. Up, follows the curve. Up, follows the curve. Up. All those lines are coming from the middle. I'm not doing my lines like this, okay? All the lines come from the middle. It's okay if they're not perfectly straight. They're not going to be. Your hands shake when you draw. It's normal. Just make sure those lines come up from the middle as much as you can, okay? And again, turn your page. Start from the middle. You guys hear my dog whining outside? Everybody's outside right now doing stuff out in the yard, and the dog knows I'm in here. And he's whining to come in. Make sure those lines start from the middle. And you don't want to have the, when you come over to this side, you don't want it to be perfectly straight because it kind of curves. You're following the curve of the circle. And this is going to end up looking like, I call it like spinning flower or like fan blade. Okay, I don't know if you're starting to see, but it's gonna, this is going to be really fun. It's a cool little tricky optical illusion for your eye. Your brain's trying to figure out, is it is it moving? What's going on here? Oopsie, mine got a little too close there, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it alone. Mistakes help us learn. I'm going to say that till forever when I'm teaching art. Mistakes help us learn. No one learns from being right. You learn from making mistakes sometimes. Well, it's not that you don't learn from being right. It's just that when we make mistakes, when we do things incorrectly, sometimes it works out better. Sometimes it doesn't. We always learn. You either learn how to fix it or you learn how to deal with it. About halfway done now. I'm going to keep turning. Make sure those lines are coming up from the center. Don't get lazy and, and start making those lines from somewhere else. Now you see how cool that's starting to look like? Okay. Almost done. Let's get this done here. I know, buddy. It's okay. You'll be inside soon. Sometimes. See what I just did there? I made that mistake. I made it work for me. I own that mistake and I made it work. What gives us the illusion is that every line comes from that center. And the better you get at art, meaning the more experience you get, the more practice you put into it, the more 
understanding you have of how to fix mistakes. Because <laughs> sometimes that happens more than anything else. Okay, two more sections and then you guys will see. We're almost done. All right, buddy, I hear you. Put on some music to relax while you're drawing. It helps you kind of get into that creative space. Nothing too crazy. You don't want to go wild. All right, we're almost there. Ooh, it's starting to spin. So you're just following the line, okay? Following the direction, the curve of the circle. My table has some grooves in it, so when I get to certain points, it makes my pencil kind of wiggle a little bit, but. All right, you guys are almost there. You can color these in, you can watercolor over them, you can go over them with permanent marker. All right, you see, here we go, this is cool. See how that flower shape kind of emerges from the lines, doesn't that look cool? Yeah, hopefully you guys did this the right way. If you didn't, go back, listen to the directions, fix your mistake or start all over again, okay? Do lots of these, you can make them small, you can make them big, you do the whole page. Um, you can make them different colors. When you get really confident in what you're doing, you can you can really just get creative with, with how you're doing these. So give these a practice, okay? Vanishing point um, and the optical illusion with the vanishing point in the middle, the spinning flower or spinning fan blade, whatever you wanna call it. All right, cool. Um, I hope you guys can post some of these pictures so I can see. I know some of you have been, and I love that, like I said in the beginning of this. Um, so continue to do that if you can, even though it's our last lesson. I'm going to zoom back over to my face for a second. Um, so go ahead and, and shoot me those pictures if you can, and I would love to see what you're, what you're doing. Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. I miss you, and I hope to see some of you uh, in summer camp, and I hope to see you all next year. And... Um, just keep being creative, keep drawing, painting, creating, collaging, sewing, whatever you're doing at home, keep doing it, all right? Just make those, enhance those skills. Keep practicing and um, push yourself out of your comfort zone and have fun, okay? Make some mistakes, turn them into something else. And I, I just want you guys to know that it's been a pleasure to be your art teacher for this last part of the year. And um, I don't know, it's, it gives me great joy to watch you guys work and see what you guys can can imagine and, and make happen on your paper or your canvas or whatever we're working on. So I hope I get the chance to do that again with you next year. All right, everybody, take care. Be good. Be good listeners. And I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.